in your classic noir films and novels, solving a case never amounts to a happy ending. The detective is always left with a sense of bitterness. A feeling that, before he took the case, the world was a better place. That he was a better person. So what's this meetup all about? Come on! Now speed it out! Sometimes I just let my character get the best of me. What do you want from me? I told Stone what I knew. That he was going to let Yale win. That if he didn't, O'Leary would destroy Helen Moore's career. And that Moore was doomed either way. Aww. Or would be, as soon as America discovered her sweetheart was on drugs. I don't believe you. No way. Who sent you? Today? Nobody. Oh, believe it, Mr. Bowman. And what if I did believe you? What would that change? If I don't do this for her, how could I ever look her in the eyes? How could we stay together? You think you'll stay together when you lose your title and they accuse her of doping? At least I know I tried. Damn. I know your record. He's a damn sure nice guy. Your rise but... to the top is clean. Free of both O'Leary's and drugs. God. You might just be one of the only honest athletes I've met recently. Please don't let them change that. Is it all about being professional to you? Possibly. You be judgmental about it? Motherfucker. <laughs> Suit yourself. But trust me, your manager is a murderer. Get as far away from him as possible. Oh, you told him about that too. <laughs> hey, Black Sad. I'll think about it. Whose place is this? Yale confirmed to me that Dunn found out that Mitchell was giving him meds. That was the reason they argued the evening of his death. In fact, I was clean at the time. Oh shit. Hadn't used for days. I didn't want to go down that road. I wanted to follow Joe. But he discovered everything. He didn't believe me when I said I had nothing to do with it. But you used again. Only after his death. I, I needed to cope. But the drugs gave you a panic attack. So the drugs caused yeah. his heart attack. Oh, but shit. I've been clean ever since. Mitchell gave you the pills when he stopped by the hospital. Hence, your miraculous recovery. Are you planning on taking them before the fight? Don't do it, Bobby. Someone has to save the gym. I owe it to Joe. Yo, damn, not to save the drugs either. And my Aunt Mary. The only thing you owe them is integrity. What would Dunn think of you now? And why he walking all slow like he just made some epic walk out, drop the mic, fucking verse. Stone and Yale hadn't taken away the bitterness I felt. I needed a friend. He was outraged that I hadn't given him the tip, but he let it go as soon as I bought him a milkshake. <laughs> That's all you need is just to buy milkshake After the perfect for storm of corruption and murder, only friendship could reconcile me with the world. Only that could make me believe in mankind again. Only that could cleanse my soul. To buy milkshakes? Only that. And money. Money, 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 money. In your standard noir novel, Yale and Stone would be punished for breaking the rules. There would be justice for Sonia, the victim. But this was the real world. None of that shit happened. As the detective who had cracked the case, I just had to get my paycheck and be on my way.
Nice to meet you, Mr. Blacksad. Mr. Thorpe is on his way. Care to take a seat while you wait? I guess I'll just have to wait. He'll be here in a minute. Please take a seat. Wait, is that more? That is. Was he also a part of it? No, that's not possible. But what if Tim Thorpe was somehow involved in Mitchell's operation? Mr. Blacksad? So he's thinking Mr. It too. Thorpe is running later than expected, but he insists on meeting you, if you don't mind. Sure. As long as you help me fight off this boredom. That's not in my job description, but They about to go to Macker? Is it is it Is that what that boat was about? But if I had her markings on my skin, would I be the same person? Would my name be different? What? I don't even understand what that just meant. If my hunch is right, there should be a meeting with Mitchell noted somewhere in Thorpe's agenda. Oh. Well, you see, I've got a problem. In order to figure out how much Mr. Thorpe owes me, I need to know what day I started working on the case. But I can't remember. You wouldn't have that written down, would you? It sure wasn't on my shift. I'd remember. Let me see. Uh -huh. Meeting with Bobby, yeah. Why was he talking to Bobby? What? Dunn was here two days before he died? Why didn't Thorpe ever mention that? I'm sorry, but your name's not on here. Yeah, let, let's do Wait, this. I just remembered something. The day I came, Joe Dunn had just walked out the door. Well, no. You don't have any appointments. Although, I guess I could have forgotten to write you in. Mr. Dunn, who's usually very kind, left in a flurry. He even slammed Mr. Thorpe's door. Okay. Now I know I have to get into Thorpe's office. And he didn't even say goodbye. Yes, that was the day. You don't recall me because the minute I saw Dunn stomp out, I followed him. I never actually came in. Of course. That explains it. No doubt. Hmm, so... Since it looks like Mr. Thorpe won't be here soon, I think I'll go take a walk down the hall. Gotta stay in shape. <laughs> Who just stay? <laughs> I just gotta go take... <laughs> She's like these crazy kids and their new help kicks. Come on, Thorpe. Tell me there's a back door to your office. I bet you I can get in through here. Yep. Cats aren't afraid of heights. That's why I've never felt vertigo. <laughs> he just had to say that real quick. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. I remember seeing that shit. Why am I surprised? 
In every investigation, there comes a point where every single lead seems to go down the drain. And you have to retrace your steps to get back on the right track. It's a bit strange to see no office chair behind a desk until you remember the desk's owner is in a wheelchair. <laughs> I better not use it. It might be connected to the switchboard at the front desk. Why would you want to use it? Wait. What if Groon's drugs helped Thorpe walk? So can he walk? So it wasn't oh so it wasn't the horse. And one of the strengths, the accuracy of his throw. Uh, I earned the nickname Iron Arm uh, about, mm, I used to throw the ball in fifty ml, huh? And yeah, uh, went whatever it wanted. And my coach, the great Joffrey Sox, uh -huh. and so I worked hard. Uh, Pearl Harbor. I enlisted immediately. Uh, Wait, his name after man, losing a partner sergeant? in combat. Uh, a serious injury. I asked to be relocated. I became a sniper. I know I shouldn't say this, but I was one of the best in the army, and it was all thanks to my accuracy. Oh, shit. No, it was all thanks to Jeffrey Sachs. I wonder how many Americans that man saved with my arm. After these words, Tim Thorpe is moved almost to tears and asks me to take a break. It's shocking to see how an athlete and soldier, a man whose aim and skill won him a medal of honor, and the nickname Surgeon among his brothers in arms. That can't be. I mean, it could be a coincidence, but no. So he was the person who killed the anteater. I need to get the fuck out of here before he comes back. Or we gonna catch him right here. That's it. Thorpe is the man behind the whole drug operation. What does that mean for us? Of course, it wasn't Mitchell or Gil. It was Thorpe who shot Randall at the hospital. Everything adds up now. And yet I can already hear Smirnov telling me I have no conclusive evidence. What if I set a trap for Thorpe? But how? The intercom. Ha! What if I place Thorpe's gun up there and corner him so that he has to stand up to get it? The show was about to begin. All I needed was an audience and some patience. So you're going to call weekly, right? Hello there, people. Hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe for more. And I hope to see you next time.